So the musculoskeletal syndrome and menopause will come for like 75% of women going through the menopause transition, which means uh, the odds are good and you're gonna have some musculoskeletal injuries, okay? It's just real. And so your mechanics, you have to keep spot on. So this means you have to maintain your joint mobility. This means you need to maintain your muscle strength. You need to maintain range of motion. And if you don't maintain these things, you're gonna have some issues. Then, because your estrogen is declining, you are actually going to have increased inflammation because estrogen helps control your inflammation. So you can actually do everything right, and some people still have pain because they probably need HRT. Yes, that's right. Sometimes HRT can help you get rid of tendonitis. So the musculoskeletal syndrome of menopause, it happens because of your hormonal decline, which is ovarian insufficiency. And so you're losing muscle bulk, you're increasing inflammation. And with that, you have a host of problems such as glutamine tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, frozen shoulder, a host of other orthopedic issues. And they all come on seemingly with no in because your everyday life is enough to cause injury. That overuse that you have from using the keyboard at work, using your phone over and over and over again, and sitting and driving and not walking around and moving like you're supposed to is part of the reason. That's why there's no actual injury. So things that you can do would be to maintain range of motion, maintain strength, and if you feel so inclined to go on HRT to help the musculoskeletal syndrome and menopause, that's fine, but I also know some of you guys have breast cancer, some of you guys have BRCA genes in your family, and uh, that's not an option. So then we control inflammation through other ways that are non-hormonal, such as a healthy diet, omega-3s, maybe an anti-inflammatory diet. We make sure that we rest, but I need everybody to do that whether you have breast cancer or not. And if you are one of the four people that don't have the musculoskeletal syndrome of menopause, you're very, very lucky, and I am happy for you. It's like you had lucky tray day at school and... Um, you're a winner and I'm happy for you. Also what you do matters, but uh, you could do all the right things and still have bad things happen in the menopause transition. So what do you do to prevent the musculoskeletal syndrome of menopause happening to you? You maintain joint mobility, you strength train, you control your inflammation, which is things that we should do anyway. You just now are forced to because you feel so bad. And I know you're sick of hearing about protein, but it's, we, we need, we don't process it as well as we age. So we do need more. It's just the way it is. I don't make the rules. And yes, you should be doing those things all along, but sometimes you need a little bit of a push and the pain that comes with the musculoskeletal syndrome menopause will push you right into where you need to be. You've become a high maintenance being and I'm very, very sorry.